Welcome to Thursday, October 12, 2023. Your day with the podcast brought to you by Cowboy State Daily. Check them out at CowboyStateDaily.com and subscribe to their digital email newsletter. Hit the subscribe button at CowboyStateDaily.com. Well, there's a shot from the Wyoming Department of Transportation's webcam on top of Powder River Pass early this morning. And other mountain passes in the region starting to look like this. If not, we'll be looking like it soon with heavy snow in the mountain as the storm system is coming together. Heavy snows will be found in the high country. We're already seeing that and it will be the mountains that get the bulk of the snow, but precipitation will fall, especially in Wyoming, parts of Nebraska and South Dakota and the mountains of northern Colorado. Rain and snow on the plains. It is a storm that doesn't have a lot of cold air with it. So the snow that will really accumulate will be on the mountain slopes. But there will be quite a few of you, especially above five, six, seven thousand 7,000 feet on the lower elevations that will wake up the snow on the grassy areas by tomorrow morning. Some of you in central and east central Wyoming will see snow before the day or the evening's over as well. Also, it's going to get windy. On the back side of the storm and south of the storm, we're going to see some strong winds developing tonight and tomorrow. Strong winds on the back side of the low for southern Colorado and northern New Mexico today. So this is going to lead to travel impacts, whether it's the wind, snow over the mountain passes. We will also see snow on the higher elevations of Interstate 80 between Laramie and Cheyenne and Laramie and Rollins and higher elevation roads and highways. They get up a bit higher, especially in the central and south central areas of the state. The Bighorn Mountains, the Black Hills, the Wind River Mountains, those are the mountain ranges that are going to get the heaviest snowfall, foot or more. Snowfall will fall in the mountains of southern Wyoming and northern Colorado, but the amounts won't be as high. Better weather, though, is going to come in for the weekend and into early next week. On the satellite imagery this morning, you can see the storm system getting together. If you look really closely, you can see a little bit of a swirl right here. This is the low center as of early this morning. The heavier precipitation shield is right along these blue clouds. This is where the colder clouds are aloft. As the storm jumps over the Continental Divide here early this morning, it's going to reform right here. And what that will do, see these blue areas? Those will get drawn in and pulled south. So areas along Interstate 80 this morning and northern Colorado not seeing any precipitation. But as the storm winds up, this will get drawn in and will get pushed south into the region before the low heads east. So while the heavier moisture is in this axis right here, it will get shifted south through the day. So we've got a whole host of advisories. The pink are winter storm warnings. The blue areas winter weather advisories. The brown areas here are high wind warnings as the wind will really get going later today, tonight, and in and tomorrow. And areas to the south and to the east will see those high winds as well. And this is where the low is going to be by noon today. So compared to what we showed you yesterday, the models are very consistent on the placement of the low, just about over Sterling, Colorado by noon today. And that counterclockwise circulation tightens up, and that's what brings the moisture on the backside. The moisture spreads out ahead of the system as it gets better organized through the course of the day today. But notice it's cut off from any real strong northerly flow on the backside to bring in really cold air. There's certainly cold air with the system, but that's going to keep our snow levels fairly high. And as we've been showing you over the last couple of days, the heavy precipitation is on this west to east axis from central and northern areas of Wyoming through South Dakota, northern Nebraska, then into the northwest areas of the Corn Belt and the upper Midwest. The counterclockwise circulation around the low going to be pulling into that snow into the mountains in northern and northwest Colorado and southern Wyoming later today, tonight, and into early tomorrow. Most of Colorado's eastern plains downsloped a bit, but you, we, we will see some showers here. Lots of wind will be blowing here later today, tonight, and into tomorrow. So I-25 travelers keep that in mind across Colorado and into New Mexico. Focusing in a little bit closer, you can see that axis of heavy precipitation. Now, whether or not we see two inches of rain or more, we'll see. But already around the Riverton Lander areas, they've already received an inch of rain since yesterday. So there will be one to two inch rainfall amounts in this axis across the area. See how heavy the moisture is from the Beartooth Mountains to the Bighorns? This is why the snowfall amounts will be very heavy in the mountains. 
very heavy in the mountain ranges right here. The southern mountains of Wyoming not getting as much snow and into Colorado, but certainly enough to be impactful. And then back over to Teton Pass as well. The Black Hills, a lot of water available for rain, turning over to heavy wet snow in those highest Black Hills. And there you can see, I think this graphic right here shows where the snow is most likely going to fall and be the heaviest, obviously the mountains. But notice the high elevations between Cheyenne and Rollins. Yep, I-80. Got to watch that. The mountain passes and I-70 into Colorado going to be impacted as well. The winds we talked about, these are the wind gusts that will be developing over the next 24 to 48 hours. Very windy across Nebraska, Kansas, Colorado, down in the panhandle of Texas, eastern New Mexico, across the Dakotas as well. Windy in the areas from Cody to Matitsi there on the backside of the storm as well. So we've got everything associated with this storm as you would expect a strong October storm to bring. Overnight lows tonight into tomorrow morning will go well below freezing in many areas. The coldest night and the coldest morning is going to be Saturday morning. I'm going to wake up Saturday morning to some very frosty conditions in many areas. So if your growing season hasn't quite ended at your house, it will probably end in many areas by Saturday morning. Good news though for the weekend, there's that big high. The low is going to get entrained into this system here. So this is going to give us fair weather. It's just different. Now that we're getting these bigger storms coming on in, instead of warming up into the 60s, the 70s, and low 80s, well, it looks like highs warming into the 50s and low 60s for the weekend. But the weekend into early next week should be pleasant. Then by late Tuesday and Wednesday of next week is the next cold frontal boundary that will sweep through. And we'll take a closer look at that system tomorrow. Have yourself a good Thursday. See you on Friday.